Hello and welcome to another video from the only channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy. And today we're going to talk about bugging out with your rocket stove. This right here is a rocket stove. Everybody that's a prepper or a survivalist wants one of these and I think the, the vast a majority of them want one because this is something a prepper or a survivalist should have. But that really shouldn't be the only reason you're getting it. You need to really understand why this is such a good item to have. It takes advantage of the physical laws of the universe. In particular, the law that heat rises. So the way this thing is designed, well, let me just explain how fire works. you got a fire here. And this fire is, say, 100,000 calories. And uh, what you're going to have isn't 100,000 calories going into your food. You got 100 calories here, 100 calories over there, 100 calories over there, and a large proportion will rise up and get on the bottom of your pot. But uh, for the most part, your f heat is being wasted, a lot of it. These rocket stoves use a very, very small amount of very small sticks to produce a very small amount of heat, but they use that heat efficiently. They direct it up to the bottom of your pot. See it right here. Heat's not going to be coming out of this door because fire requires oxygen to burn. So if you put your hand down here, you're going to feel a breeze going into this stove to feed that fire. Very, very efficient. And it's very simple technology. It's not anything that uh, some scientist had to invent. But anyways, here's what we're going to talk about. We're not going to talk about how to use a stove. We're going to talk about things you need to get the absolute maximum benefit of the heat that's being directed by this stove into your food. That way you can cook with as little fuel and as little time as possible. And when you're in a survival situation, that's what matters. This is a windbreak. And now, instead of just having the heat hitting the bottom of your pot full force, it's actually going up the sides of your pot because it can't just blow out. See, if you've got this pot sitting up here, wind is blowing, you're outdoors doing this, a lot of heat is going that away. So you want to keep that heat going up the sides of your pot to get even more of the heat into your food. Now I'm going to explain what this is. This is called a waterless cooker by health. <laughs> These things were marketed from the 30s to the 50s, I believe, and they're really not all that spectacular, but they kind of remind me of a USGI mess kit. If you're familiar with those, it's that thing that they used to have that all had a little bowl and a pot and uh, skillet and all in one gadget with a fork, knife, and a spoon locked up inside of it. And you could even put you some beans or sandwich or whatever in there. And uh, all the soldiers carried those when they went off to fight the, uh, the evil empire of bad people that were threatening us. But in any case, uh, this is a lot like those old mess kits because it locks together. So you got a whole bunch of lightweight aluminum stuff in here. And it's like basically going off with an entire kitchen. And it's light. And it's easy to carry. Now this is something. This is an aluminum, very heavy gauge aluminum bowl that I got at Goodwill. for. What do we pay for this thing? It's like $4 or something. Hardly anything. And even when I went through the register, the girl at the register was getting mad because it was so cheap. Because this is really nice. This, what I'm going to show you, is really cheap. Or was. They may even still sell the same exact thing. This is a, a camping... Cook kit, cookware kit from Walmart. And it's basically the same premise. You have lightweight stuff that folds into one one deal. This has been used quite a bit. <laughs> but uh, you got, you know, you got just a skillet and a pot and all that. That way you could uh, you have your whole kitchen in a very small, compact little kit. I was kind of fortunate when I bought my when I bought my waterless cooker, it actually came with these parts. And when I went on eBay to see what this thing was all about, a lot of these cookers are still around, but the innards are gone. So I've got the innards. And I don't even know what a lot of this does, but I think it's like this is to use as a trivet. And this is actually to use to support your food above the water. Really neat thing. Really nice to be able to have as much tools as possible if you're planning on hitting the road in an emergency. And this is just some very good tools to have. Now, this rocket stove itself is not light, but if you know you're going somewhere that's wooded, where a lot of sticks are going to be available, this will do you a lot better than a propane stove. Oh, well, if you don't want to survive, don't listen to me. 